Welcome to Mike's in it first here on YouTube. I'm courtesy of 12 Inch Sports. Um, Zico TV channel 761 is where I'm usually at. Excuse me. I could not hear my show this past Tuesday um, due to strep throat, if you could not tell from my voice. But I will give you guys a whole list of bets here from mybookie.ag. When you go to mybookie.ag, enter the promo code Taunt Sports. That's promo code 120Z Sports, all caps, no spaces for up to a $1,000 deposit bonus. Tonight, Thursday night football, the Rams and the Patriots in a rematch of a Super Bowl from two years ago when the score was like 13 to 3. I feel like the Rams' offense is actually worse from that year, although they're still a more complete team. I'll go with the Patriots plus 4.5. And we're not about to do a bet slip here because I tried to do one on a previous take of this broad, of this whole recording, and I ended up I I didn't know you could only do ten on a parlay. So I'm new to this whole thing. I'm still 28 and 12 on my bets all year, which is I'm um, through eight weeks. I've tried it on my Sunday five. I've actually gotten pretty good. I'm 28 and 12, 70 percent overall, which is really good. And I'll go with the over 44 in this game as well. Titans and Jaguars in a game that could be close because Mike Lennon is a veteran quarterback. Both teams have running backs in terms of Robinson, I believe, is the Jaguars court running back. Then, of course, you have Derrick Henry, who's a beast. Jaguars are 1-11, but I believe they're like 6-6 six and six against the spread, which is insane for a team that's that bad. I'm going to go with the Jaguars plus 7.5. They played the Vikings very well in the first half last week. And I'll go with the... Um, I'll go with over 53 on this. The Cowboys are three and a half point favorites against the Bengals. Bengals, I believe, are starting Ryan Finley. Um, they, I believe Brendan Allen got hurt, obviously, after Joe Burrow got hurt. I'm going to go Cowboys minus three and a half, and I'll go under 42 and a half because this could be a very, very um, low scoring game. Both offenses are lethargic. I mean, Cowboys look good against the, um, against the Ravens, but, I mean, wow. Texans and Bears, I'll pick the Bears plus one. I think Trubisky gets it going, and I'll pick the um, under 45, although Deshaun Watson can get that by himself. Um, the Texans have a bunch of injuries on the wide receiver. Go figure. Buccaneers minus six and a half. I'll take that over the um, Vikings, and I'll pick the game to stay under 51 and a half. I believe the, the Buccaneers' defense will step up. I believe Vikings defense will step up as well, but I'll pick the Buccaneers to win this game by more than a touchdown because of Dalvin Cook running into a brick wall that is the Buccaneers defense. Chiefs and Dolphins. The Chiefs are seven-point favorites, and I'll go with the Dolphins plus seven because I feel like the Dolphins are a team that can play them well. Um, do not be surprised if the Chiefs go over seven, but the reason I'm picking the Dolphins because Chiefs have been kind of, you know, eh, the past few weeks, they played a lot of good teams. Might be kind of tired. So I'll pick plus seven. But I will go. I'll go under 49 and a half. This is not. My Sunday five will be based on this stuff right here. But for now, these are what I'm looking at here. Colts are three point favorites against the Raiders. I'll pick the Colts. They look good with it with Jonathan Taylor back in the lineup this past week. T.Y. Hilton got going. And I'll pick over 51 and a half in that game. I feel like both teams can put up points, although Colt Stevens is really good. The Jets are 13 and a half point underdogs against the Seahawks. I'll pick the Seahawks minus 13 and a half. Part of me wanted to see the Jets with the points here, but I feel like Russell Wilson, this is a chance where he steps back up. He makes a lot more points. And I'll pick over 46 and a half because I feel like both teams will light up the scoreboard. Sam Darnold was really good this past week. Green Bay Packers and Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions are plus seven and a half. I'll go to the Packers minus seven and a half. Um, oh, what does that mean? How's the game no longer available? That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand that. Oh, Lord, okay. Well, we'll see the Packers minus seven and a half. We'll also see the... Wow! Thank you so much. I don't know why my bookie's doing all that. That's weird. 
I just got rid of some of my bats. I don't know. I don't know how this thing works, but I'll <laughs> you get it. So I'll go with the um, Packers minus seven and a half, and I'll go with the um, <laughs> I feel so stupid. I don't know why he's doing that. And I'll pick the um, I'll pick under fifty five because I feel like the Lions will keep it will keep it close, maybe on defense. Actually, ah. Uh, I go over for over 55, Packers minus seven and a half. The Falcons are two and a half point favorites against the Chargers. I'll pick Chargers plus two and a half to win the game. And I will see the game goes over 49 and a half. But both teams are going to put up points. The Falcons will run into a tough um, defensive line against the Chargers. The Saints and the Eagles, I believe the Saints will win by more than six and a half. And I believe... This game will go under 43 and a half. I don't expect Jalen Hurts to do diddly squat against this team. The 49ers are three-point favorites against the Washington football team. I'll take the football team plus three, and I will pick um under 43. I'll pick under 43 because I feel like both teams are going to put on defensive showcases. Steelers and the billionaires. I'll pull this game's tough. This game is one of the hardest games to pick all week. I'll pick two and a oh. I'll pick Steelers plus two and a half. And I'll pick under 46. The Ravens and Browns. Whew. I'll pick Ravens minus one. And I'll pick over 47. Well, there you have it. There are all of my picks for this week. But which ones will make the Sunday five? Which ones will you see? Should you go bet yourselves? I don't gamble. For those of you that do, there you go. This has been Mike City First on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Um, it's been a ride this season, but we're not done yet. Mike City First will air Sunday at 12 noon if my throat decides to get better. It should. I'm on my second antibiotic already. I've got like, what is it, 18 to go. So by then I'll probably be on number six or seven. I should start feeling better. My throat should start feeling, God, it's, it's awful right now. But you hear it. This is why I wasn't here Tuesday. But here's a Mike Smith first on YouTube exclusive. Have a great one, guys. Don't forget to go to mybookie.ag. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.